Hello everyone! So, let me start off by saying that I did not vlog at all today. I'm very sorry. I had a very strange night last night. I did not go to sleep at all. I was up all night long working on a video project, and I kind of just forgot to sleep. But in addition to the video project, I thought of an idea in the quarantine zone in the garage. I wanted to put a big, like, quarantine poster that was, like, ripped up or torn through or something because I thought it'd be kind of like a funny little joke. And I found a perfect quarantine poster online that I thought was going to be great. The only thing is it was $20 for a print, and I did not want to pay $20 for something that I was literally going to tear up. So instead, I decided to make my own version of it. I printed out the poster in separate pieces on regular sized paper and then taped it all together onto a poster board and I made my own quarantine sign uh, and basically right around here or so I'll cut a hole through it and have one of the arms reaching through. I think it'll be a funny like ironic sort of joke. Just something to like add to the atmosphere in the haunt. So that was a thing that I did. And then I spent all day long going on a Halloween shopping spree. And again, I didn't vlog it. Like, it literally just did not cross my mind to ever grab my camera. I've been in a very weird, like, haze. My mind's kind of foggy all day. But I went to four different stores, and I bought something at every single store that I went to. So, since I didn't record going through the stores, I thought I would just show you everything that I got. So the first place that I went, of course, was Spirit Halloween for like the sixth time this year. And I got Severed Limbs. Yeah, I think this is actually going to be the arm that I have reaching through the quarantine poster because it's a pretty good quality latex arm. Uh, I got like the bone sticking out of the finger right here. And again, all of these are going to be reaching through the, uh, the boarded up wall in the garage. So this part you won't actually see. I'll have it stuck in the position to where like the back half of it you won't see. So that part doesn't really matter. Plus I got a leg and I figure that this leg can be like on the ground somewhere, kind of like it's one of the zombies standing behind the wall, sticking his foot through. And that's the only stuff that I got spirit. Cause I would have gotten more, but like all of their arms and legs were like carbon copies of each other. So there wasn't even like a right hand to match this one. They were all this exact same arm, so. That is actually why I went on to the next store, which was Halloween Express. And they didn't really have too much to choose from as far as arms go. So I just got a couple of these groundbreaker arms, which are definitely not as good quality. These are just plastic. Let's do an unboxing. Yeah, these are just like plastic, so. But it'll still work. Again, this part will just have like in the wall and we'll be reaching through like this. And I could actually put both of them, I guess, to where it's like one zombie like trying to reach through both arms or something. I might be able to do that. We'll see. Stuff like that I'll make up as we go along. But since they didn't have too much to choose from, none of their arms look different, then I went to Party City. And at Party City, I, uh, I got a little bit more than just seven limbs. I got one severed arm, because again, they all were just like carbon copies of each other. I don't want them all to look exactly the same. But this one I think is cool because it has like the blood stains on it. And I'll put my own fake blood on it too to make it look fresh on Halloween night. So that is one, two, three, four arms reaching through plus one foot. Uh, I might pick up more later on if I can find some more that aren't exactly the same. 
So that's all the arms that I got. Plus I got a couple of things of freaky fabric because you can never have enough freaky fabric. And then I got another a smaller plug machine. This is a 400 watt one, so this one definitely is for smaller areas. I'm planning on using this one in the garage. I don't know if I've explained yet that the candy is going to be in like a toxic waste barrel. And I thought it'd be cool if this is like in the bottom of the barrel and the fog would be like coming up through the barrel like it's acid or something. I don't know. Again, I'll figure that out as I'm putting it all together, as I always do. And then, lastly, I went to Best Buy. This was not to get a severed arm. This was to get something that I couldn't wait to do the video to open it because I wanted to test it out. But I got a Logitech wireless Bluetooth speaker. Now the reason I got this is this is going to be part of my dad's costume actually. You've seen that I made the hazmat suit and everything. And he's the one that's going to be wearing the hazmat suit because I need to be able to see to record and everything. So I'm going to have him, he's basically, he's going to look something like this because he's going to be wearing the gas mask and everything. So I thought it'd be cool if he's carrying one of these machine guns just like the guy on the poster. But all of the machine guns that they sell at these Halloween stores sound really stupid. They just have that little like clicking sound when you pull the trigger. It's not okay. So I got this and I'm gonna have him wear this like around his neck underneath the costume. And he will, in the same hand that he has his machine gun, he's gonna have my small iPod which can connect to this through Bluetooth. And so instead of having the little clicking sound from the fake machine guns, he'll click play on a specific track on the iPod, and this will sound. So hopefully it'll seem a little bit more realistic, like he's actually firing a machine gun. I'll do a separate video on how I rigged this whole thing up and kind of do a test run of it. But I think that'll be kind of cool. I've never done anything like that before, so this is going to be a first. And then the last thing that I got, just because it was only $4 on the rack, the original Friday 13th on Blu-ray. <laughs> so that is my Halloween haul. And you know what? I just now realized. I forgot to show you something. Yeah, here it is. I forgot about this one. I did get one other severed arm from Spirit. And the reason I forgot about this one is because this is like a $2 really, really crappy one. Like, there's not even anything inside the arm, so I figured I could just stuff the arm with something myself. And... Yeah, so that makes five arms and one leg. Plus, I have a couple more things on the way in the mail. And we'll see how that looks. I'll get it all put together, hopefully within the next week or so, and see if I need to get any more arms and stuff. But yeah, that was my Halloween haul. And again, I'm sorry I didn't vlog. I've been in a very like weird state of mind all day, and I'm very tired. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.